guys welcome back okay so i wanted to do a video talking about palettes that i actually truly regret buying i mean i regret spending my money on these palettes now you guys know i love palettes i'm addicted to palettes i buy them like crazy and so sometimes i get a little ahead of myself and i end up buying something that I ain't had no business buying. <laughs> but with these palettes that I have in front of me right now that I want to kind of just show you, talk to you about, you know, because I feel like we all at times have regrets or buyer's remorse for certain things. I mean, if you don't, then kudos, my hat goes off to you. But occasionally I do have buyer's remorse or regrets for certain palettes that I bought or makeup in general. But I've gotten a lot better with that. I do really, really think my purchase is through now. And I typically buy things that I know I want or things that I know are going to kind of fit with my vibe, you know, now that I'm a little bit more knowledgeable about what I do and don't like and what doesn't doesn't work for me. I don't waste as much money as I used to. So anyways, with that being said, with these palettes, there are various reasons, not necessarily because I think it's a bad palette, because a lot of these palettes I haven't even used, um, but it could just be not feeling the color story, you know, the layout of the palette, just a lot of different reasons. So I'll quit yakking and let's just go ahead and jump right in. So let's start out with a couple of Huda Beauty palettes, okay? Now, this first one here is the Huda Beauty, what is it, Gemstone Obsessions. I got this, I don't know, I think this might have been my second purchase of one of her little mini palettes. And I know why I bought this palette. I know why I picked it. I mean, it's pretty. It's really, really pretty. Beautiful shimmers in here. Absolutely gorgeous. You know, different array of shimmers. And... I can only imagine that when I saw this palette, I was like, you know, I can use that for, you know, if I want to just pop a certain color of shimmer on my lid, you know, if I'm using an all matte palette, blah, 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 right? Like I really need that. But I have never used this palette. I know I've swatched it at least once, you know, just to kind of see what they look like. And like I said, they're really pretty, but... At this stage in my makeup loving life, if I wanted to just grab a shimmer from somewhere, I would reach for one of my singles. You know, one of the ones that I really love and adore, like from Cleona or from Davina or, you know, from Adept or Sydney Grace. One of those I reach for before I reach for this. So I really regret buying this. I don't know, but for some reason, it's still in my collection. I guess I'm probably hoping that I use it one day, but I'm sure this is going to end up getting decluttered because I'm never going to reach for that. Okay, this other Huda Beauty, <laughs> this is going to be tough, Huda Beauty palette is this Mauve Obsessions. Now, this Mauve Obsessions was my first small Huda Beauty palette purchase, and once again, it's a pretty palette. I never really felt mauve when looking at this palette though. I mean, maybe these three shades across here kind of make me feel like mauve, but the rest of it is just like, well, it's a burgundy palette to me, <laughs> you know, even though it's really pretty. I think for this palette, I don't know, it doesn't go quite deep enough, even though this is a beautiful, rich, dark color. You know, I want something a little bit deeper and I don't really feel like I look good in mauve. That's probably why I don't reach for this. But yeah, I definitely regret buying this. I used it one time and it was an okay look, but if I can get my money back, I would in a heartbeat. Now, next we have <laughs> an obvious regret. I think I regretted this right after I bought it. This was the, or this is the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. I mean, the packaging really really pretty absolutely gorgeous what are those magnolias or something but yeah really really pretty it's kind of like puffy a little bit puffy but y'all why did i buy <laughs> i know why i bought this because your girl can't pass up a sale even it's like i just lost my mind or something knowing full well that i wouldn't use this palette but for some reason i convinced myself that i needed it in my collection 
no, I don't need this in my collection, but I bought it. Definitely regret it. Never even used it. I don't even think I've swatched this. I don't know. I might have, but never used it. And I know for a fact I'm not going to. So this is a huge regret because even though I got it on sale, you know, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> now, this next item is, it's more than a palette, okay? This is like an all-in-one face box, okay? This is from Physicians Formula. And this is the ultimate butter collection. Look at this thing, you guys. I mean, in theory, it's really cute. It's like a, a all-in-one face type of situation. There are, let me see if I can open this up. Yeah, there are shadows in here, bronzers in here. You open it up, there's blush, there's lipstick. It's just, you know, a real all-in-one type situation, okay? But, um, I have no desire whatsoever to use this. And I completely blame my girl, DJ, for me purchasing this, okay? Because, you know, one of your girls gets in the chat and she's like, oh, I got this. It's so bomb. It's so wonderful. Look at that. It got everything all in one, blah, blah, like. We don't need this. We don't need this. I'm pretty sure that even DJ has melted this down and sold it for parts or something <laughs> because we don't need this. And why I decided to buy this thing, knowing full well I wasn't going to use it, I have no idea. I mean, like I said, look at this. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> All in one. I guess it's great for travel you know, take on vacation or something because it's very durable. It's not extremely large, even though it is a little bit bulky. But yeah, I regret buying this because honey, I just look at it and laugh at this point because there's no way in the world I'm ever going to reach for this just to sit down and use. I can't depot it because it's in plastic and I'm not going to do a video on this. This is like from last holiday or something. So yeah, I regret this a lot. Okay, now these next two palettes are palettes that I actually picked up on Amazon. I was really excited about them. I saw them. This was actually a couple of years ago. I've had these so long. I saw them. I was like, oh, those are cute. Those are nice. Looks like something I need in my collection. These are from Jacob and Eli. Not that familiar with this brand. It seems like they were like... um. I don't know, content creators or something or some type of collab situation. I don't know. But I got these on Amazon. I guess they were reasonably priced from what I remember. They weren't too expensive. But this one is Hidden Gems and this one is Candy Peaches. So, I mean, as you can see, it's a really pretty color story. A little bit muted for my liking, but... It's actually kind of pretty and I had every intention on using this palette to be honest with you but I just never did. Never got around to it, never did a video and then it just kind of lost its shine. So yeah, I do regret buying these because I never even swatched them, used them, none of that. And this is the one, the peaches one. So this one is definitely a very, very light for my taste and my liking and you know it's just no pizzazz at all so like i said before at this point i would never buy well i keep saying that even though occasionally i do make a crazy purchase but at this point typically i wouldn't buy anything like that not for my collection next i have this pixie by petra now this i don't know do i regret this this is actually a not so long ago purchase i haven't had this that long i bought it a few months ago i think I've been dying to try some Pixie shadows because I've never tried any eyeshadows from Pixie. And I saw this at Target. Where did I see this? Must have been at Target. And I was like, whoa, no, did I order it online? I don't know, y'all. I can't remember. But I was like, whoa, okay. So that is a lot of different shadows from Pixie, you know, larger than their normal palettes. And so I was like, okay, well, this will allow me to try all these pixie shadows one shot you know and it does actually have some really pretty colors in here and it goes nice and deep so that's why i went ahead and grabbed it and i don't 
know if I regret this or not. I kind of, when I looked at it, I pulled it. I was like, yeah, I, I regret it. It's called the Eye Enchanter. Eye Enchanter, just in case you're curious or you want to get it for yourself. But it's actually a really pretty palette. So I don't know. This is in the I don't know. I kind of regret it because nine times out of ten, I'm probably not going to ever use this. I'm going to have to force myself to use it. That's what I'm going to have to do because I don't hate it. I don't think it's anything wrong with it, but I'm going to have to force myself to use it. <laughs> so the jury's still out on that one. Now, this one is a fairly new purchase. Okay, might be surprising to you. Um... Because there, you know, are a lot of reasons why I purchased it. This is the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. And honestly, I bought this because of the packaging. I did. Because even though they have the really pretty, you know, shimmer shades in here, duochromes, whatever you want to call them, they still don't hold a candle to duochromes and multichromes that I already have in my collection from Indie Brands. So... I already knew that, you know, that they weren't going to be as good. I was curious, though. That's why I bought it. But, I mean, other than that, other than, you know, the pretty shimmers in here, it's just a really basic, bland packaging. Even though the front is really pretty and gorgeous, the rest of the palette, if it didn't have this on it, would be very basic, very plain to me. So... I do kind of regret it because I don't see myself reaching for this again. It was just like, okay, let me try it out for my viewers and, you know, tell them what I think or show them how it works. But I probably won't reach for this <laughs> again. So, yeah, this is a bit of a regret. Now, this palette here is so funny. This is the Urban Decay times Kristen Leanne palette. I'm not familiar with Kristen Leanne or anything like that. It's just when I saw it at, I don't know, where was it? Ulta Sephora. I thought the colors were gorgeous. I swatched it. So I think it was in Sephora. I swatched it and I thought the colors were so gorgeous. And I was like, oh, I got to have it. Knowing full well that I do not like palettes that have odd, strange arrangements and shapes in them. I already know that. But for some reason, I'm like, I can overlook that because the shimmers are bomb. The colors are pretty. You know, it swatches nice. So I can overlook it. No. Apparently, I can't overlook it because <laughs> just the thought of using this palette is making me itch. <laughs> it's just, I can't. It's, I can't. I just, I'm not into the odd shapes and stuff like that. The, the colors are really pretty. The shadows are pretty, but it's like my brain won't allow me to use it. So yeah, I regret buying this. This has been in and out of my declutter box at least five times, at least, because I put it in and I take it out. I put it in and I see somebody use it, I take it out. I put it in and my girl's like, you need to use it, take it out. <laughs> so yeah, the next time I put it in, I am not taking it out because I'm not going to use this. Okay, this palette here, I honestly don't, I don't know. I think I regret it. I do. I think I regret it. This is the Violet Voss, the Rainbow eyeshadow palette it's really pretty look at it it's gorgeous and i went back and forth and back and forth when this was out as far as whether or not i was gonna buy it and it was really because it was on sale you know something going on sale and you kind of on the fence that kind of helps to knock you over and go ahead and purchase it so went ahead and purchased it and i i don't know i might have used this palette one time just for like this purple shimmer or something like that on my lid or maybe the blue i don't know but it's it's actually a really pretty pretty palette i said i wasn't gonna swatch because you know it makes the video so much longer but even with the shimmers it's like they're not i mean it's an all shimmer palette it's all shimmer but it's like they're not the most amazing creamy shimmers i mean they look really pretty but they are kind of like textured you know um i don't know they just don't feel like silky smooth i do like the fact that they are very pigmented but i do regret buying this because i never think about it it never even crosses my mind to grab this palette. I really think I need to stop buying all shimmer palettes because I'm never gonna use them ever. I'll use an all matte palette in a second because I love all matte eye looks, but 
I'm never going to do an all shimmer look. It's got to have some mattes. So I don't know why I bought this. It's pretty. It was on sale. The packaging is nice, but I'm never going to use this. Now, this next palette is kind of hard for me to say because I know so many people really, really love Blush Tribe, you know, when they were still Blush Tribe. Now they changed to Mayali Beauty. But when they were Blush Tribe, you know, everyone really, really loved their palettes and their shadows. I think that I just picked the wrong palette for me. <laughs> I really, really wish that I would have bought Paulina's palette before it got discontinued because I love that color story. And I don't know why I didn't grab it. I really wish I would have. But I picked up this palette, which is the Munaza. And it's really, really pretty. You know, sorry about the glare. It's really, really pretty. And of course, when I open it, you'll be able to see why I picked it. This looks like it's right up my alley, right? Perfect, beautiful, colorful palette. But I don't know. I used this palette twice, I think, trying to fall in love with it, trying to make myself, you know, come up with a look that I really liked. And both times I was not happy. I don't know if it was just, the colors, the formulation of it. I don't know what it was, but both times I used this palette and I was like, I don't like it. I don't like it. So yeah, I hate to say that because like I said, I think I just picked the wrong palette for me. But yeah, I definitely regret buying this. But I'll probably keep it just because it's a palette that I have, you know, from when they used to be blush tried. Now this next palette, <laughs> I spoke briefly about in my video talking about my Too Faced eyeshadows and why I don't use them. And this one actually isn't that old. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Nudes palette. <laughs> and it's funny because I still look at this palette and I'm like, well, it's pretty, but it's pretty though. Why won't you use it? And it's like, I'm never going to want to use this ever ever <laughs> even like this one really pretty like pink tone shimmer here that's the only shadow in this whole palette that my eyes are drawn to the only one and i i still don't want to use it so yeah i really regret buying this another purchase on sale oh my gosh it's new let me get it i shouldn't have bought this i should not have bought this it's way too neutral for me now this palette here, it's like, it even pains me to say that I regret buying it. I really don't know if I regret buying it or if I just accept the fact that I purchased it just to complete my collection. It is the Juvia's Place Deuce palette. I don't know if it's called the Deuce, the Deuce. Will somebody please tell me how to pronounce it? Because I don't know. But this palette here. It took me forever to buy this palette. I've purchased like all of their palettes as soon as they come out, as soon as they come out, no matter what. I love them. I'm getting them. They're beautiful. This one, I didn't buy until like, I don't know, maybe earlier this year during one of their sales just to complete my collection or I don't know when it was, but it was way after it came out just to complete my collection. This color story it it messes with my brain. I just, this, it's like as individual shades, they look absolutely gorgeous to me. But as a whole, as a collective and a palette together, I can't, I just, I can't wrap my brain around it. Beautiful mint green, beautiful purple fuchsia shade, beautiful shimmers in here. These colors here, oh my goodness, these rosy tones, this brown, all of these shadows are beautiful, but as a whole in one palette, it's like my brain won't let me create an eye look with this. And I really need to use this and challenge myself because this is a palette where I just overlook it, move past it every time because I can't even, even right now looking at it, it's like, okay, you know, I could use two shadows and do, you know, my crease and pop something on the lid, do something with the pinky purple looks and pop one of these on the lid. But of course, you know me, I want to use the green. I want to use the purple. I want to use the rose. I want to use the, I want to use all of them together. So yeah, this, I don't know. Is this a regret, you guys? 
Do I regret this? I don't know. I kind of feel like I do. Why do I feel like I'm going to be putting some of these palettes in my declutter box tonight? <laughs> Now these two palettes from Lime Crime, these are these little plushies palettes. These came out like a couple of years ago, two and a half years ago. They were first announced for me um, when I went to BeautyCon like two, two and a half years ago. And, you know, I was like, ooh, those are new. They're not out yet. You know, they were all there behind the booth like, yeah, these are brand new. These aren't out yet. Nobody knows about them. We're not even going to announce them. You guys will be the first ones to use them and do videos and yada, yada, yada. Man, I purchased these freaking palettes and the very next day, BeautyCon wasn't even over with. And the very next day, they're announcing, oh, these new palettes are for sale. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I was like, are you kidding me? So anyway, let me show you these palettes. And... <laughs> They're like these kind of like neon type colors or bright type colors. They're not even that neon, but, or that bright. But yeah, and I haven't used these. I think I kind of played around with one of them or something like that and really wasn't impressed. So that just left a nasty taste in my mouth, you know, because I only bought them just to have a hot item, you know, for my channel. And then, next thing I know, they're out. People are using them and stuff before beauty kind was even over. So, yeah, I was kind of annoyed at that. But, yeah, got these and have never used them. Have had them, like I said, for over two years now. And I'm never going to use these. They, they don't even float my boat like that. Now, these palettes I spoke about in my BH Cosmetics video. These two little palettes that they came out with that I kind of got um bamboozled by because I thought they were regular size palettes and they're actually itty bitty teeny tiny baby panned palettes really pretty color stories and all that stuff but I don't like teeny tiny baby eyeshadow pans I don't know why I don't it's not because oh you know, whether or not I'll pan a palette. I will never pan an eyeshadow ever in my life. <laughs> so that has nothing to do with it. I just don't like teeny tiny anything, really. I like my stuff big. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. I just... I mean, the color stories are pretty. You know, I know you guys have probably seen them. This one is the Digital Future really really pretty it looks like they kind of explored with some different kind of like dual chrome shimmers and stuff really pretty and this one is the romantic nomad so nice deeper darker color story very pretty as well It's no question to me why i bought them i just feel like i got bamboozled because these pans are tiny now this next one might be a shocker but this is a major regret of mine <laughs> This was the first Fenty Beauty palette. Look, it's reflecting everything. The first Fenty Beauty palette. This one is the Galaxy. Okay, of course, all the hype when it came out. Ooh, Fenty Beauty, Rihanna, yada, yada, yada. Beautiful, beautiful packaging. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All shimmers. I hate this palette. <laughs> what a passion. I do not like this palette. The shimmers are just very lackluster, very glittery. This is an amazing topper palette. You know, if you just want a palette for toppers, you know, a little glittery shimmer, you want glitter all over your face, perfect for that. Not really my vibe. So, yeah, I really regret buying this. <laughs> I wish that I would have giving it away, taking it back, sold it, something. I don't know, but I've had it for quite a while now. Well, I got it when it first dropped. Do not like this palette. Don't like these shimmers. They're way too glittery. And this is a huge regret purchase for me. Now, this palette I actually bought from the Boxy add-on or Boxy pop-up or something. Was it the Boxy one or the Ipsy one? It could have been Ipsy. I don't remember. At one point, I was subscribed to all of those boxes. Now I only get boxy. But this is the um, Hank and Henry Living in Color palette. And I know I grabbed it because, you know, the picture, it makes the shadows, the colors look really pretty. I mean, even looking at it right now, you know, it's got these beautiful 
kind of like earthy tones here nice for fall beautiful pop of blue green shimmer and then these shimmers up here but I don't know I, the reviews that I heard about this after I bought it were not the best not the best and when I swatched it a real quick easy way to get me to not use a palette is for me to swatch it and to be completely deflated by the swatches i know swatches don't always tell the story some palettes swatch horribly or shadow swatch horribly and they perform amazingly but when i swatched this i closed it and put it back on the shelf <laughs> on the shelf because it was like mm, yeah no same thing happened to me with that Nabla palette. One of the Nablas, I swatched it, and I still haven't used it just because the swatches scarred me, y'all. I can get scarred by swatches, bad swatches. <laughs> so, and y'all know I love a good swatch. So, yeah, I do regret buying this because I didn't need this. I shouldn't have bought it in the first place. With the quality of shadows that I like now, it's like, I don't know. I was just wanting to buy something. I should have never bought that. Now, these next two palettes, I don't know. Are these a regret? I think they are. Mm, I, mm, I feel more so like I kind of got duped into buying these palettes. More so than me just regretting buying them because the pictures online for these palettes are way more rich and deep and bold than the actual shadows themselves when you get these palettes in your hands these are from makeup shack and honestly they're not bad palettes they're really not i created some really pretty looks that i actually really like from these palettes but you know when you buy something and you're expecting it to look a certain way and then it doesn't it just leaves a nasty taste in your mouth so this one here which one is this the muse this is the muse palette and what i really loved about these makeup shack palettes is the pant size like i said i like my stuff big okay and as you can see these pants are huge and i totally fell for that but this color story if you look at it it's a really pretty color story. I mean, for fall, I should be playing in this all day right now because it is a beautiful fall color story. The green, the brown, the oranges, and the purples, and the gold. Looks amazing together. Perfect for this time of year. But yeah, it's, this palette is way more muted than it appears in pictures online. At least in my opinion. The pictures that I saw, they fooled me. So I was really disappointed in that. This one is the Majestic. This one is really pretty, actually. Very, very pretty. Same thing. Gorgeous fall shades in here. There's greens, browns, gold, blues. Very, very pretty. And like I said, I really like the looks that I created with these palettes. But there's been a lot of times when I've created looks with palettes that I love the look, but I really don't like the palette. <laughs> Just because I was able to work it out. But yeah, these are a couple of those types of palettes. Very pretty. So I wouldn't tell anybody don't buy them. But I would just say don't go buy the pictures you see online. Because they are a bit more saturated than it looks when you actually get it in your hand. Now I only have one more palette you guys in my stack of regrets. <laughs> in my stack of lost hopes and dreams. But yeah. I have one more palette. I talked about this one in my BH Cosmetics video as well. Why don't I buy these or why don't I use these palettes? And this one was another one where it was totally a bandwagon palette for me. This is the Carly Bible palette. And I actually got the deluxe edition from BH Cosmetics. The deluxe, <laughs> the deluxe edition of Bland. That's what it is. But yeah i i had no business buying this it's like i must have just been looking at these two highlighters like oh i can use those and completely ignoring the rest of the palette that is just not for me so yeah this is definitely a regret i don't know i keep it in my collection for some reason though just because it's, it's the cardi bible palette kind of like you know I don't know what the Jaclyn Hill, well, I actually like the Jaclyn Hill palettes, <laughs> but you know, there's some palettes that you just keep in your collection because they're 
those you know popular famous collab palettes so i don't know if i'll ever get rid of this but yeah i kind of wish i never would have bought it because honey i ain't gonna use this so that's it you guys like i said those are all of the palettes that i currently have in my collection i think that I actually know for a fact that I regret buying and you know I just thought it would be fun to kind of go through them and just look at them and before I put them back in my collection I can go ahead and be like you know what let me just go ahead and declutter this give it away do something with it okay because I really don't need it in my collection. So that's it, you guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you have any of these palettes? Are any of these your absolute favorites? Do you feel like, you know what, you regret buying them as well? Let your girl know, okay? So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles!